overnight for the latest audition with Pete Bonham and his shade and Foxy as Fidel because the revolution will Those tens are too Great star! Bravo! Bravo! Okay, yeah! Oh, by the way, I'm a capitalist, everybody! <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess their message is we have a right to be rich and greedy and piss it up against the wall if we want to. I suppose. Meanwhile, empty apartment buildings, hundreds of rooms, thousands of rooms, hundreds more coming and they're not occupied because they're investments. And look at this, they've now opened up a path here, which I think is very nice. I think there could be a little bit more effort put in if the camp was permanent and uh, people didn't feel... My, my question is, gentle folk, if, if this camp were more permanent in nature, right, would we take uh, an opportunity to perhaps you know, do something quite inventive around structures. Yay! You're, you're talking to the you're perfect, you're talking right talking people. The perfect uh, man. Well, they, I, I have an idea uh, uh, inventing village kits. Now, what these things do is like wigwams, and you put them on top of a platform. This platform sits on top of a bag of water, which when we go and st step onto the platform and go to sleep, our weight depresses the platform, pushing the water through a turbine, creating a little bit of power, and then what it does is it puts it in an overhead compartment, which we keep by sun, compost, several uh, various methods, uh, the sun being primary, okay, of course. Okay, so, like, a, like a, uh, a, 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 a kind of space capsule that you can pack into a suitcase and so on. A That's great right. idea, absolutely. And, and, then, and then you can pull these things out yeah. and plunk them, and what it does is it warms up the water, and as the water flows through the system, it heats the floor, yeah. which then, uh, well, obviously heats the tents, yeah. he, he, so heating's really yeah. nice. We got running water, uh, creating right. power. Of course, it'd be no good in the desert. Huh? It would be no good in the desert unless you dropped it from an airplane with a parachute and yeah. had a big lot of water on yeah. board, yeah, otherwise yeah. you're screwed, you know. Yeah, but otherwise, yeah, 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 I, think I think it would work in Canada though, and I think there's lots of places in the world where it would work, it would work and I yes. think it's a good idea, and I think that, you know, a, a good government, a thoughtful government would give, you know, inventors like that a real hand up, but as we all know, governments are idiots, and so they don't That's bother. why we're here. <laughs> That's why we're here. Because the government doesn't have solutions. No, we the do. The government has issues. That's we got right. solutions. We don't have That's issues. That's right. That's so, right. Well, anyway. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Where'd you go? Yeah. And also, the thing is that you're not a. Ah, oh, the drums, the drums have started. Now the drums have started. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for showing up here once again to show that you are part of a radical movement for change throughout the world. And we are that. We should begin to recognize by now that the purpose of us being here is to reassert ourselves as a people in common with interests in common. 
things that are important to me for one reason may be important to you for another reason. And when we talk about things, sometimes it's not clear what we're talking about. I think what we're really talking about, in simple terms, is our individual and collective well-being. It's if economic I'm, slavery. That is the slavery because if you don't have a job, you don't have a place in the society. If you don't have access to money, you don't have access to very much freedom. You don't have a great deal of leisure time. One man who I respect greatly because he's a very hard working class man, he happens to uh, be working in the um, a tile business and concrete business and so on. He's a very dedicated, very fine man. But he said to me, you know, he said, sometimes I think I'm a robot. He says, at 4.30 in the morning, I get up, I shower, I get myself ready for work. Uh, you know, I have to be in by 6.30. I work until 1.30 in the afternoon. And then I, you know, I attend to my other life. And there isn't much because I have to do the whole thing the next day. And it's sure, I appreciate Saturday mornings where I can let you know, lay around till 8 o'clock in the morning, but his is a pretty, you know, conventional kind of world that pe working people live in. And I think it's a very low order of necessity. I think that what we're supporting here is a corrupted monetary system, and the only way we're going to make any serious progress is to bring about a new quality of understanding of our fiscal affairs. Now, I know I'm talking to the choir here, and I appreciate that most of you know probably as much, if not more, and probably more actually, uh, than I think I do. And that information's been with me since 1972 when I went to the Governor General and blew the whistle on things. And that, that made my life very difficult from there on because I was suggesting that the, the, the warrant to uh, write money with the Royal Bank uh, did remain with the Crown in the body of the Governor-General and it needed uh, um, a, uh, a majority in Parliament to do that. Well, Mr. Trudeau, because he was the adventurous guy he was, decided to not bother to do that because it ticked him off that he couldn't get what he wanted right now. So he actually went to the commercial banks and if you look on any study of Canadian debt, you'll find that a lot of it began just about then, around 72. So actually I may be responsible for doing a lot more harm than good. So to some extent, uh, I, I, I'm still on the same trail and I believe the good that I can envisage is a good that's going to last everywhere for all time. And I think most people I've heard speak up here, here who know anything about fiscal policy and, and debt-free lending and so on. Uh, have a proper understanding of this. It has been uh, chopped and channeled by various uh, political parties, but w we're now transcending that necessity to vote in elections that have already been rigged. And the only way we can have an option to having to, uh, to vote for any of the political parties is to have a none of the above on the ballot. And then you can tick that if you choose to, and that would be counted. And if any, if the number, the majority in that writing uh, one, then there would be a random selection, not just of a, of a, a person, but a man and a woman, um, and uh, from a, a random selection from the pool of electors that have voted none of the above. Now, after careful study of the issues surrounding uh, the mind frames of both men and women and so on, I think we have to acknowledge that women do have a considerable and powerful uh, sh uh, quality of consciousness that not all men are really d don't have full access to. And for that reason, I think it's necessary to have uh, circles from these uh, randomly selected representatives, men's circle, women's circle. Uh, each circle then seeks to find consensus around an agenda which they figure out or work on, or I'm always ready to give them. But at any rate, uh, they, they, um, and then they should advance uh, into consensus around the issue. They should uh, simplify the issue, make it understandable to the broadest number of people through uh, official channels and so on. Uh, well, I wouldn't like to call them propaganda. I think they would be instruments of, of good communication. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm two minutes. Thank you very much, madam. I can finish very quickly. Oh, my point is that we should have. My, pardon? Uh, okay, my point is that we. Okay, my point is that.
Respect is the key. Respect. No, this is good. If, if, I, if you miss my point, my point is that we need a restructuring in society which takes equality as the foundation of our, 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 our government. Our, and, we, and we begin to recognize a metaphysical reality if we're not hooked into mystical understandings, and that is we are all in the same suit between Mother Earth and Father Son. And when go. we begin to look at one another in the eyes and in the face and say, brother, we're all in this together. Let's work together towards a new future, a new future which is not based on the numbers of, of uh, in your bank account or the size of your Rolls Royce you drive or how often the uh, Queen allows your male corgis to come over and have an affair with her. How about do it for the kids? Female corgis. Do it sorry about that. <laughs> Do it for the oh, kids. Oh, sorry, something like that. I gotta go, folks. I'm around here a lot. I've run out of petitions for today. I will be back tomorrow, 9:30 in the morning. Kevin Annette, a very serious activist around here with a legitimate cause, will be uh, uh, encouraging people to come out and march over to uh, the Catholic Church. So uh, I'll probably see you there tomorrow. Anyway, God bless everybody. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, John. Thank you.